My friends, welcome back. I'm Daily Fix, and this is my Stellaris Guide. We're playing as the uh, Commonwealth of Men. We are currently still in a war, as well as our neighbor, and... Well, it's going to be 50-50. That is a lie. The half mine's dying. And they have uh, been fighting in a double war. Oh, these guys are going to be getting way too strong. We'll, uh, we'll have to make sure this station is going to get uh, a bit more buffed. And that will definitely happen once we, uh, when we get the, uh, the Star Holds. Now, we're, st we're doing a negative 4 on consumer goods. And we're making not too many minerals. That is uh, a bit of a shame. This planet... There is no... Yeah, well, actually, we are building. Wow. You guys are really not going to enjoy your time here. Damn. Oh, well. It um, will help eventually once we've taken all of these jobs. We could buy more minerals. But we definitely want to start working on getting those consumer goods. And we'll deal about the minerals later. The consumer goods are being used by so so much so you're healed up let's go immediately go on the offensive we have a time limit 521 days and we need to make most of it yes we are healing up we are doing a lot with our fleets at the moment but the most territory that we can get out of this and you can see the large fleet is heading over here as well we are getting those gun batteries out let's get another one just make sure we do hurt them quite a bit. If we can get can hold, hold on to these, then that's going to be brilliant. Our armies are not going to be enough. And also we are getting invaded. Over here. Armies. There are no armies. They are being landed. We immediately lose this planet. I don't mind. I really don't mind losing that planet. Um, I don't mind. I, I do mind losing this station because this is a perfect station for our upcoming wars. Definitely, but we will be warring this uh, this faction quite a bit, and I don't want to lose this. Now uh, this station is going to be enough to deal with that. Now, even if we take back this station, it's not going to do any good towards getting this system. What we could do. If we have more time, is take some of this territory, like this system, and put a station in there as well. Just so we can make sure they don't get resupplied from this end. And the next war, we're just, it's just about taking out the hive. Now, what is your problem? So we need a guy with propulsion. We are having one over here. It's busy commanding. That means one of our scientists, you... Need a new guy? Do we have a green one? No, we don't. Let's get this guy. Once the station falls, we'll send it in again. And the station will fall. There you go. And we're immediately going to be sending them over there. Because they will engage. Um, I'm quite sure of it. They won't engage with this fleet because it is just too weak. Well, we're going to be sending you over here. Research those projects. Inbound message traffic. I kind of... No, actually they are not attacking this one. So let's go and take that system. We'll try to take as much as possible. And then we'll just um, offer them a peace deal. A status quo. Um, no, not yet. Not yet. I don't feel that it is necessary already to deal with that. We do need to deal with this. Uh, but i rather wait until this is over 2000. Let's see, we got the listening posts. Experimental subspace navigation. Point this is this, this would be nice, but this war is almost over. 
Getting a colony development speed of 50 would be very nice for taking this one. So let's do it. What will these guys do? Oh, there you go. So the big fleet is in there. We're going to be taking a few more systems. Um, I should take this system a lot faster than there. We could actually probably move all the way here, but... I kind of don't want to get engaged by these fellas already. Uh, I don't mind if it's going to be later, but not right now. We don't want to have, like, five wars at the same time. That would be uh, horrible. So once that falls, and yes, they are sending in fleets. It's fine. Let them. One point nine, one point eight, because one of the ships got destroyed. It is fine. I wonder. Oh wow! Look at that. Three k. Yeah, that's definitely changing. What is changing? Yes, that figures. Look at that. Do you see what they did? Hmm. They changed their designs. They are no longer going to be operating missiles. That is smart. Good to know. Because that would mean that our ships... Well, not all of them, but our brickets are going to be quite useless. From this point on. So we want to change that. We're going to be removing you... Uh, we could increase you all the way up to 30. Eventually we will disband these because we can get destroyers to do that job. We can have destroyers deal with missiles. And we're going to be doing that. But this fleet is now very dangerous because it's using the same design. So we can't deal with that sort of a harassment. Uh, also, 100 days... I think it's going to be time. Let's settle for a status quo. They will accept. We'll gain a portion of their territory. The war is over. Let's wait until all of the ships are done. You are going to be... Well, yeah, let's return home. We can upgrade you. So, that's the very first war. Meaning we can actually colonize this planet. So, let's do that. Let's start colonization over there. This scientist is going to be so busy. Uh, because it's going to be researching all of these projects. And even in their territory. Because we have a peace deal. And we can now enter their territory for a certain amount of time. I believe it's like two years. Oh, it's amazing. Love that. So, are we building? Yes, we are building that colony ship. We have a bastion here. That is not part of our trade lane. It is uh, unconnected to the starbase. Yeah, that sometimes happens. So, where is my... Let's see, trade. I need to get into the trade map. There you go. So, Bastion. Connect over here, please, if you could. Sometimes a bit wonky. Sometimes you have to do... It's just right-clicking. I believe on the logo. Is it too far out? Maybe it needs to... Oh, this one is not as, uh, in there as well. As you can see, I should be able to connect it over there. And then we can connect you over here. So that definitely does something. The trade lane is connected. And we got a lot of things to change here. Because some of these are just um, not as good anymore as they used to be. Let's take a quick look. Do we have... Well, we can build up the listening post. And we're going to do that. Let's build up a listening post over here. Science division, and let's build up more anchoring over here. This station I'm going to be keeping as a bastion. So a bastion is just a fortified location. Planetary capital. Naval capacity. Hydrophonics bomb. Mm. The research is also nice. I'll go for the... Oh, the Hall of Judgment. Enforcers will produce unity. Wow, that is, that is quite nice. Let's go for the planetary capital. We can build three more star bases. We don't have to do that right now. You don't want to do that right now. You, is there something we can build over here? 
Well, you can see that the, uh, the trade value here is not being collected. So let's take a quick look at the ships. Doing more on shield damage and having more shields. What is our designs currently? We're doing more on armor damage and they have more in shield. So let's change that. Let's get another coil gun in there. And we'll keep the armor because they were doing more on shields. And they had more shields and we have more armor and we're doing more on shields. So that's quite nice. Let's save you. As for this intercept, or actually this pricket, I kind of want to change it a tiny bit. Yeah, that figures out the small disruptor. Hmm. The tracking is quite high, though the range is a bit smaller. But the damage is less. Well, we could use these just to swarm and then use other ships to deal with that. Let's make another corvette. And that's going to be the final corvette you'll uh, make for a long time. It's the missile boat. So, corvette. Did I type that right? Yes. Missile. Auto complete. It uses the small disruptor and the nuclear missile. Auto upgrade. Save. So these are all of your corvettes that you will be using. Um, depending on in, on your time period, you will use uh, other designs. So if you're going to be using your corvettes as anti-missiles, they could also go very close towards uh, battleships. Battleships are slow. They are struggling so much with small corvettes because they're high evasive they have high speeds and the tracking and everything of these uh, larger ships are going to get worse over time so making them very vulnerable taking down their shields and hull could be very nice even though the average damage is is probably the lowest of all that we made like the interceptor still has the highest chance but we also now have the destroyer and the destroyer is, is is twice twice in in terms of damage but you can already see that the speed is half evasion is half so they will take more punches don't go changing your fleets into all destroyers that will be a bad decision um, uh, let's see early on early on well we don't have to deal with missiles but usually your destroyers will take this formation um, well we don't need to use these small disruptors we don't need to we could let's just do coil and laser on there so one of these destroyers will take down three missiles heading your way so we don't need to use three ships for that but one destroyer would be sufficient I think I kind of like this design let's keep it let's do all those upgrade and do destroyer, uh, pick it, there you go, it's safe, it eventually will find its way in our fleet, now let's make a few more, we have the artillery bow, we're not going to be using this, we don't actually have need for it, You'll you see it like small sh small weapons like the S is like corvettes destroyers. You get medium, it's like destroyers, corvettes, and somewhat battleships. And the large weapons is like um, cruisers and, and battleships. I was saying corvettes twice, right? With the medium. So in order about what time you are doing this, like what year it is, what your enemy is using for fleets. Uh, you will start to make sure that you are preparing yourself for that. Uh, at the moment, the enemy is uh, is just using corvettes. So, there is no need to go on large or medium weapons as of right now. But I do want to make a, uh, a interceptor for our... Um, actually, no. Yeah, interceptor... 
Can we make it small, medium as well? No. Well, it's fine for now. An interceptor destroyer. Even though I understand this decision, I would really like to get more shield damage because I'm thinking we're probably going to be fighting the hive a lot more. Let's make this destroyer. Inter. Interceptor, so we know what it is. It's safe for now. There's no need, there's no need to make the large ship. It, it's, it's, it's... It really is not that good at this time. So don't go and do that just now. We have a colony over here. And it needs a job. We are starting to lack minerals. But you can see it has a lot of here. And this is our relic world. Let's build up the district. All of these are going to be merging with you. And you, my friend, you are going to be uh, upgrading yourself for the first time ever. But before we do, actually, let's stop. Like We already determined that uh, we have almost no need for uh, pricket ships in this fleet. So let's change this. Let's uh, destroy that. Oh, we can't buy it like that because it's getting done like this. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll have to do it by hand then. Let's agree... Because it needs to upgrade and then it's getting wonky. So sometimes you'll have to do it by hand. The interceptors are nice. Get rid of the prickets. What kind of ship are you? It just doesn't say. It's a griffin and a skiller. Well, whatever then. Whatever you say. Let's remove... That, I kind of, well, it isn't too bad to have a few, few of these um, anti-missile pricket ships in there, just to be on the safe side. They're not the strongest, let's do like 10. 10 is a good number, and just boost you all the way up to, I don't know, like 50. Well, let's do a bit more on the prickets then. Just to be on the safe side. If we fight a, a another enemy, and it, this would be enough. We're not going to be pressing that reinforcement. We're going to be waiting. We have plenty of time. Okay, let's take a quick look. So, you are going to be changed into Bastion. Because of uh, our neighbor over here. The gun batteries. And I want to change this into a listening post. So we can actually see their fleets. We need a starbase in here. It's temporary. We will eventually change this. I don't care about the election. Let's just... You could you could lose so much. Because you could click this one. And press elect. And it will cost you 200 influence. And... and it's, it's, don't, don't, don't do that. Please. Please. Just don't. It, it is not worth it. Look, the trade value guy is nice. But don't... Don't go voting. Please. Please don't. It's such a waste. Okay, let's take a quick look over here. Because we are getting at the top of our influence. Let's do farming subsidies. Um, Grand Marshal has died. Hmm. Yeah, we want to build up our armies as well. Let's stabilize our economy first. Because that's going to be rather important. You're the Bastion. Let's do the uh, listening post over there. We have the listening post coming up over here. We are building a star base. Just to make sure that these guys just don't, don't enter my territory unannounced. You are anchoring. It's great. Scientist has probably been elected. And you can find who it's become. Like fortified. And it is a building cost. So it is okay. It's decent. Rather that he didn't flip. Now because we don't have the uh, scientist I would like to have on there. Um, your physics. So I'm going to be using you for this. And then we're going to be using you for that. Let's recruit a bunch. Yeah let's get him. 
So remove him. He is not that useful. And let's get the field of manipulation on there. This scientist is going to be so busy leveling up quite nicely then. We're going to get a lot of technology out of that. So they got the FTL inhibitors as well. So we'll need to fight the stations. Now we'll get the, the next tier of fortification of star bases quite soon. Um, and it's going to be absolutely lovely. We're going to be um, building it up definitely on defensive places first. Even here, because look at this. They're using destroyers. I don't like it that they're, uh, they're on my border. Really don't like that. As you can see, they're using prickets. Oh, actually, they're using the uh, interceptors. They're heavy on armor. And they are heavy on shields. So if we would go toward to them, we would need to change our designs. And they are anti-missiles and heavy on shields. So heavy on shields, heavy on shields. It's going to be something. I don't trust you, my friend. You are friendly, but I don't trust you at all. And they will take this, look at this war is over. So they're going to be looking for a target and that might be us. So let's make sure that we keep the listening post up there. Construction complete. Okay, you are now going to be upgrading. Battle debris secured. That's great, that's what I want here. More battle debris. What will you do with your design? So you're building up destroyers. Other fleet. How are they? Gunships. Um, might be a good decision. Maybe not. Look, they, they of course do more damage. But my ships are faster. They will get more evasion. Evasion. I might change the destroyers in here. What is your problem? Go away. So let's change this into the interceptor class. There you go. Now we're going to be needing a lot of alloys to get all of this done. The colony ship is also on its way. Trade deal has ended, lacking resources. I'm okay with that. War declaration. So the hives are going to be fighting these guys. So they're going to be annoying. Uh, luckily for us, their fleets can still go through my territory. Generator planet is in dire need of enmities, and to get that we need 20. Hmm. Kind of want to build minerals up here because there's nothing else we can actually get out of this. So maybe we should change you in like a rural planet. Worker basic output is going to be increased so we'll get more energy, more minerals. Let us... Um, Bye. Okay, you are alien scum. Well, we knew that. You knew that. Let's build you. What's going on? Did you... Oh, you were done. Hmm. Destroyer building speed and cost is nice. But... I kind of think this outweighs everything. Getting tech free in armor... Is just going to make it so we survive longer in battles. So let's do that. Hostile fleet is present. Yeah, we knew that. You, you don't have to rub it in. There's no need to do so. Uh, let's reinforce this fleet. We're going to build up in completely. So what will this fleet do in terms of my naval capacity? It is going overboard like crazy. Okay, let's see. You are a bastion. You are doing fine. What I need is um, is the admiral thing. Yeah, that's the official term. The, the admiral thing. I like all of these bastions. In all honesty, might have to flip them. Just so we can deal. Look at look at how many fleets they're having. A scientist has just died. What I need is um, is this guy. You. Continue whatever it is that you were doing. 
like assisting the research, I believe. There you go. Uh, but we're well over time again. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, let me know in the comment section what I should show you. Otherwise, we'll just continue playing. And we'll definitely need to start preparing for these guys. Probably at a higher extent than anyone else. Is this listening post done yet? We don't have anything in here. Okay, anchoring then. And definitely a listening post. Well, we need that once we have more alloys. We have the listening post in there. And you can see why. We can still see all of their fleets. Thinking I want to change. No, change you to anchoring. Okay, anyways, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.